All right, what's up, everybody? This is Vaughn Edmead from Average is Failure. And in the last video, we talked about your why. So in this video, what I want to talk to you all about is your vision. And having vision and having a, a, a clear vision is very important for whatever type of uh, success, greatness, um, or just maximizing your potential that you plan to, uh, whatever it is that you're planning to achieve this year, that's going to be very important. And so I wrote down some points that I wanted to share with you all as far as vision goes. Um, but I, I, it, it's very important because what vision, what a vision does is it, a vision gives you a target to aim for. So some of the challenges that I had, the reason why I got kicked out of law school, the reason why when I got graduated from undergrad with my undergraduate degree in political science, um, I only graduated with 2.3 GPA. One of the reasons, you know, there's various reasons, but one of the reasons and one of the key reasons is that I really had no vision for my life at that point in time. And so one of the things that's important when it comes to vision or building a vision is exposing yourself to the possibilities that are out there. And I had never done that. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, let me, I'm tripping. I definitely had done that, but I never, I had been exposed to a lot. My parents definitely exposed me to a lot, but I never really took, I never really like thought about my future when being exposed to those things. You see what I'm saying? I just thought like, oh, I just had an experience and that's it. No, but when you have different experiences, especially when you're, if you're a young person, what you need to be thinking is how do those, how, what do those experiences mean for my future possibilities? What do those, do those experiences mean for my future possibilities? So when it comes to having a vision, like let's say I work in the hood right now. Uh, one of the places that I work is in what we would call the hood. So one of the challenges that I see every day is that the, the, the young people that I work with, they conduct themselves in a particular way because they're only seeing a certain type of thing. And they, they don't know that there's better out there to model themselves after. They don't understand there's nothing in them to reprogram the vision that they're seeing for their lives. And so there's this verse, um, there's this biblical verse that says, you know, with where, where there's no vision, the people perish. And it literally tends to be true. Um, when you think about when, where there's no vision, when I see that there's no vision, uh, people do what they have to in order to survive. And oftentimes that leads them to get in, into trouble. Uh, which might lead them to getting killed uh, or getting put into prison, which is a type of death in and of itself because you can't really live the full life that you've been created to live from behind bars, right? Then you have other people who it's even more literal without a vision of people perish. Those people who are struggling with vision, um, with having a vision for their lives, tend to take their own lives, right, often. So so, so that's why I think it's so important for whatever we're doing today Um you know, without a vision, th without a vision, your success, your success will die. Your success will perish, right? Your potential will begin to die. Your potential will begin to perish. So a um, couple of things about vision that I want to share with you all, and then I'll leave the video at that. Um, another thing, uh, another verse is write the vision and make it plain. And I think that's important. So some of you might have visions uh, that you're, that, uh, of, of where you want to be but it's still too general. And one of the things that I've been learning as I've just been studying uh, different things to help make my life better, I'm understanding the, the need to make things measurable. To, and in order to make them measurable, they have to be a bit more defined. So for instance, a person who has a vision of a house, the vision is in their head. So one, we talked about write the vision, make it plain. So write the vision, take it from outside of your head, put it down on paper. Right. One of the best things that I've learned to do is any ideas or what have you that I have, take it out of my head and write that thing down. Then after you've written it down, you need to go and make that thing specific, make it clear, it's specifically describe what this vision would look like and what will it specifically take? What are the different action act, action steps that you have to take in order to accomplish this goal? So when they once they take the vision out of their head and put the house on paper, they don't just say, okay, we're done. No, they say, okay, what are the measurements, right? How, how big does the roof need to be? Um, you know, w w what's the spacing that we're working with? How tall do the ceilings need to be? How tall does the roof need to be? Um, how many bricks do we need? Like they're, you, 
you get very specific on those things. Why? Because if something's out of place, then your house crumbles. So if something's out of place and your vision's not clear, your vision will tend to tend to crumble. That's why they have things such as positioning statements for, for people who are trying to be entrepreneurs or, or you know, they talk about your, your elevator pitch because if you're not clear on what you're trying to describe for yourself, it's going to be hard for you to convey that to other people, all right? So the last thing I just want to add, this is more of an admonishment, but, you know, eagles, eagles and pigeons both have vision, but the vision that they've been given are two different types of vision, and here's why that's important. Because what you'll recognize about an eagle, I was reading this the other day, an eagle can see its prey from about two miles out, right? We never talk about prey when it comes to pigeon, pigeons, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but the important thing about the vision that I want you to understand is that you have everything that you need already. Why am I saying that? Because both a, a, an eagle and a pigeon have been created with everything that they would need according to their vision already. So the eagle has more powerful wings. It has more powerful talons, right? Um, it, it, it can fly more gracefully. It doesn't have to flap its wings all the time to fly. It can just spread its wings one time and just soar through the air. Why? Because it has been created in with a body that is able to handle the vision that's been given to it. And so what I want you to understand is that you've been created also with everything that you need in order to accomplish whatever the vision is for your life. But you need to take time to figure out what those things are. All right. What are the talents? What are the strengths that you've been given in order to accomplish? What are baby steps that you can take in order to accomplish the, the vision that's been that's that that's that's been given to your life? And the last thing I'll say is this. It's important that eagles and pigeons are careful of the conversations that they have with one another. And here's why. Because if you're an eagle, there are certain possibilities that you have that, e that, that pigeons don't have, right? And we're hoping that those, those people who are still in pigeon stage will ele elevate to eagles one day. But sometimes what happens is you have a vision for your life, you're an eagle, and you begin talking with pigeons, and pigeons start telling you that these things aren't possible. And the thing about it is that the pigeons are actually right. But the pigeons are right because the pigeons are pigeons. It's not possible for them because the vision that they have and the body that's been given to them based on their vision is different than the vision that you have and the body that's been gave and, and what's been created in you to handle the, the vision that's been given to you. So understand your vision. Don't let anybody strip you of the vision that you have for yourself and go out there, write the vision, make it plain, all right? And, and accomplish the vision. So that's what we're going to be working on in this year. All right. Um, and then next week we're going to talk about you know faith and believing. Um, and then and then the week after that we're going to talk about being yourself. All right, being yourself. All important things if we're going to accomplish any of the things that we would like to accomplish this year. So I hope that this has been helpful helpful for you. My name is Vaughn Edmead. Um, average is failure. Success is intentional. And character is legendary. You already know what it is. Let's get it done this year, y'all. Peace out.